Hey everybody, Brian from PB Homesteading. Just doing a little bit of reseeding down here under the house for the large grow tent. So let me grab the camera and I'll show you what I've been up to. So we took out the uh, marigolds, we planted those in the yard. I was going to do a little walk around video today, but it's been uh, pouring down rain and there's been some thunder showers outside. So I didn't really want to take the uh, DSLR camera out there. But we've uh, reseeded since the uh, dark orange marigold have done so well. I went ahead and reseeded two more trays of those. And since they were really quick to pop up, they should be probably planted in the yard in two weeks. So I've got two trays here, and then I did five more of these five inch pots over there in the corner back there. And of course here we have some, uh, you know, the lemon drop marigolds that I reseeded some of those trays, and some of them were just a little too small to plant outside this weekend. And then down below we have a bunch of the ones that are a little bigger, and I thought I would just wait another week before I put those out and see how many more of those trays I can get the seed start to pop up. And then I brought the, uh, the basil in that we had out in our backyard because the, uh, the weather turned colder this weekend. And so I wanted to make sure I got them back inside so I can try to get a little more germination. You can see it's pretty sparse, you know, the germination rate from being outside. So I thought maybe if I brought them back in, I'd get a little better germination. Some of the seed that wasn't germinating might actually start to pop up. So I brought those back in. And then over here in the corner, I went ahead and seeded a bunch of chives. So these are gonna go out. So where the, uh, the spinach is in the lower deck garden boxes, I think I'm gonna replace that with these chives. So that way we'll have a nice uh, mix there because I already have the garlic chives in there. And Paula's been putting the, uh, the bunching onions that she gets from the store, the organics. And then, you know, you take the, the cut root from where you cut off all the green, you plant that in there and you'll get another regrowth of those uh, green, you know, bunching onions. So we're gonna put this right in there with those. So that way we'll have a bunch of uh, salad type greens right there together so you can actually cut the bunching onions at the same time as the garlic chives as well as these regular green chives and we'll be using those in our salads and our stir fries and that type of stuff throughout the summer so that'll be pretty cool so you know i'm never i'm never quite done with gardening as you'll see in some of the other update videos you know salad bar led is back active again you know the big tents still got more stuff going so i just can't get enough of growing things in my uh indoor to give them a boost so when they go outdoors they're well ahead of the uh the game and i'll get production within that year otherwise i'd be sticking it out there and i'd be hoping that it germinates and you know we have pretty iffy results in our backyard because we only get about six hours of sun all right talk to you guys again bye